Boys State Tournament going to try to follow up all that action next week in Madison. Spots up for grabs today around the state with sectional finals underway. Top ranked appear facing the second ranked team in the state for the right to go to the tournament. The Red Bo Redbirds build a 10 point lead in the first half. Ben Willinghands with the willingness to stick with it. But that lead didn't last. Green Bay Phoenix recruit Bennett Bassage had 21 in the first half. We're tied at 39 at the break. Tight the rest of the way. Zach Kinziger to Will Hornsith for the flush. Tied at 48. Hornsith led to Pier with 22. Arrowhead pushes the lead to eight with five and a half to go. Basage from deep. He had 43 points. Kinziger brings the birds back within three. He had 20 points before fouling out with a little over a minute and a half to go. Down three with 13 seconds left. Connor Hudgens fouled on a three, makes the first, but misses the next two. The Redbirds missed 11 free throws, and the defending state champs fall 85 to 80. Arrowhead moves on to state. Nina Marshfield in another semi under five minutes left. The Rockets lead 42 to 41. Offensive rebound out to Brady Corso. Threes, please. Four point lead for the Rockets. But Marshfield sticking with them. Chris Pohl to the lane. 4 2. Back to a two point game. Corso pounding the rock, bursting into the lane for a couple more. Safe to say he tamed the Tigers off the inbound, slicing to the lane for two. Too much to overcome for Marshfield. Nina wins it. 52 to 48. What a year for the Rockets on the hardwood. Their boys heading to compete for Division I state championship as well. To Whitefish Bay for Schwabanon versus Nicolay. Ten minutes left in the first. The Jags Jackson Sims drops the basket plus one. The Schwabanon leads 40 to 34. Drew Tomaszek busts out all the moves behind the back. Pro hop lefty land the fanciest of his 11 points. That's when the Knights turn the lights out. Yasir Beeman stealing and taking flight. Slams home two of his 11 points. Sims would finish with 11 as well. His final bucket brings the Jags back to within four with two and a half to play. But they were shut out the rest of the way. They fall 56 to 44. Keel looking for their first state tournament appearance since 2010. Starting red hot, Pierce Arns puts them on skates. And Aiden Murphy knocks down the three. Drew Quartz keeping the Irish close, pulls it from the baseline, deep two on the way, nothing but net. Donovan Davis helping the cause, well defended, doesn't matter. The freshman scores it, the Irish down 12 at halftime. Tightening up late in the second, Cade Volker helps put it away, the reverse land falls. The Raiders are headed to state for the first time in 14 years. And it's so special, I've been on this program for so long, and it doesn't happen that often, and to be a part of it, it's, it's, it's special. It's, it's a memory for sure. It's just one game at a time, each game, making sure we don't overlook our opponents and making sure we get our jobs done on the court and then just taking care of business. And in Division 5, Bondle comes up short against Marathon.